Today we are going to learn a topic, why do we fall ill? Today's topic is, why do we fall ill? So we realize that health and disease are very complex issues with many interconnected causes. So health means a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. So what we mean by that? Physical, mental and social well-being. So it cannot be something that each one of us can achieve entirely on our own. The health of all organisms depend on their surroundings or their environment. So the environment includes the physical environment. For example, health is at risk in a cyclone or in a earthquake in many ways. So human beings live in societies. So our social environment is an important factor in our individual health. So if we live in villages, towns or cities. So in such places, even our physical environment is decided by our social environment. Now we will see the basic conditions of good health. First one is proper balanced and nutritious diet. What do we mean by the proper balanced and nutritious diet? Proper balanced nutrition diet means eating a wide variety of foods in the right proportions and consuming the right amount of food and drink to achieve and maintain a healthy body weight. So balanced diet fulfills all of a person's nutritional needs. It comprises foods from five groups that is fruits, vegetables, proteins, grains and dairy. Personal hygiene. Personal hygiene means cleaning our body every day, washing the hands with soap and water, then brushing the teeth twice a day, covering the mouth and nose with tissue when sneezing or coughing. Third one is clean environment and surroundings. What do we mean by clean environment? Clean environment means keeping your surroundings clean. That prevents the spread of the disease. Germs and bacteria thrive in dirty environments and in easily spread from person to person. Next is healthy air, no pollution in the surroundings. That is pollution-free environment. Pollution-free environment is an ideal state where all forms of pollution are minimized to levels that do not cause harm to human health, means clean air, water and land free from harmful substances. Next is regular exercise. Regular exercise means regular physical activity such as walking, cycling, healing, doing sports or active recreation which provides significant benefits for health. Sixth is proper rest. Proper rest, proper sleep. We get sick less often. We can stay at a healthy weight, lower the risk of many diseases, reduce stress, improve our moods. We can think more clearly and we can do better in work, get along with people better better. Then seventh one is good standard of living and economic status. Good standard of living consists of the individuals having the basic things such as food, shelter, social safety and interaction which all contributes to well-being. It is considered to be a decent living standard. So these are the basic conditions of good health. Next we will see disease. Disease means when the body is not at ease, then it is said to have a disease. That is when the body is not comfortable, it is said to have a disease. So disease, when there is disease, the functioning or the appearance of one or more systems of the body changes. And depending on the duration, disease is classified as acute or chronic. Acute disease means disease that lasts only for a short period of time. For example, headache, common cold, etc. So these diseases last only for a short period of time. Chronic disease, that is diseases that last for long time are called chronic diseases. For example, elephantiasis, tuberculosis, etc. 
So these diseases last for long time. Placentiasis, otherwise known as lymphatic filariasis, it's commonly known as elephantiasis. It's a painful and disfiguring disease. It's caused by infection with parasites and it is transferred through the bites of infected mosquitoes. And these can be treated with medicines. An infected person usually take the medicine for several weeks. The same with the case of tuberculosis. It's a serious illness that mainly affects the lungs. The germs that cause tuberculosis are a type of bacteria and it can be cured. And uh, the vast majority of TB cases can be cured when medicines are provided and taken properly. So these two diseases, these, uh, diseases last for long time and they are called as chronic diseases. Any queries or notes, contact Kavita Nair 1976 at gmail.com.